Hello. Today I'm going to teach you how to make the most sought after cutting board there is, the chaotic board, also known as the chaos board or the camouflage board. And unfortunately, to get to this fine looking product, we're going to have to start with this. And these are my scraps. You have maple, cherry, walnut, paduke, and purple heart all cut into one by one strips. I'm going to offset the light and dark colors. And they're about 20 inches long for the longer pieces. And then I got a bunch of scraps we're going to work with also. So I'm going to match these together, light, dark type patterns. And then I'm going to get them glued up and I'll check in with you next. Good morning. Today we're going to get going on making my first chaotic cutting board. What I did for Christmas was I made about 14 boards for friends and family members. And I took all the scraps from those and I kind of put them all together. And I'm going to try my first chaotic cutting board. So what I did was I kept them all to about 20 inches. I didn't want to go too much more than that. That way I could make three different board sets and have a lot of different patterns going on rather than just have one continuous stream. Unfortunately, the boards are only about three quarters of an inch thick, so we're gonna need a ton lengthwise because when we flip it on the side to get the width, I want it to be at least two inches thick. So we have these three boards completely cut out, and then I got some scraps that are about six to eight inches that we'll be able to get a few runs out of as well. So anyways, I did the glue up, so I laid them out, glued them up. I did one cut probably about every inch and a half. Now I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna cut them all again, we're going to them and start getting that pattern going. So hopefully after about four or five times, we're really going to have a good chaotic pattern going. So I'll show you what I got. These are the three glue ups I have now. It's pretty much the usual suspects. We have purple heart, cherry, maple, walnut, and paduke. That's pretty much predominantly what I had left over from these. And then I get some small scraps. These are going to be one glue up. These are going to be another. And then I got two piles of scraps here that are already glued up that are about eight inches each that we'll be able to cut up and get some more length out of that cutting board on. Aya, Leia, Solo, Drago and Raven, all helping out in the shop today. We're watching glue dry. Good morning. Today we're carrying on with that chaotic cutting board we started yesterday. What I did yesterday was I took those three sections I had like this, they're about 20 inches long. I cut them and then I spun every other one. So pretty much what I'm trying to do is get maple and cherry in between the purple heart, the paduke and the walnut going light, dark, light, dark to an extent. And then when I cut them, I spun every other one too. So they have a different orientation. So the three sections I had yesterday turned into two. I made so many cuts. These just came out of the glue up. So I'm going to get these through the planer, get them cleaned up, and these ones are ready to go. And then I got these four little sections that are about six to eight inches long. We're going to run these through the planer, get them cleaned up, and then I'm going to cut these. And we'll see if we need to do another glue up and then cut again, or whether I'm just going to cut them and rotate them. So that's where we're at. It's not raining today, so we're going to take this mobile office outside this is what i meant by rotated you'll see every inch or so a board was spun to give it an offset pattern here we are getting all those boards ran through the planer to get them flattened out leveled and get ready for the table saw to get them cut boy that's a lot of sawdust and please go ahead and like this video and subscribe to our channel. Okay, so I got those boards planed up on both sides. I got the two big ones here, these two. These are just gonna get trimmed up and then cut up and ready for the chaos to ensue. These ones here are ready to get sliced and diced in the uh, table saw for another glue up. So that's what I'll take you to now. We're going to rip these small scrap pieces up for the last time, get them glued up and ready to add to the board. Now when you're gluing up, you want to use enough glue to cover the whole area, but don't use too much so they're sliding all over the place. A little bit goes a long way. Don't forget to change your ripping blade to a cross cut blade at this time, because you're going to get a lot of chip out if you try to use a ripping blade now. 
Here we are doing the final cut on those big boards and we're turning it from edge grain to end grain. This is the last of the scraps that are glued up. They're all dried off now. We're going to get them cleaned up through the planer and then cut and we're going to add them to the board. So I didn't want to bore you with another glue up but we got those last pieces added. This is what it looked like right out of the glue up. So at this time, we're going to run it through the table saw, get everything squared off, and then start flattening and sanding and getting the juice grooves in. So we got it all sanded out, flattened. We added the juice grooves and the handles on the side. Now we're ready to add the mineral oil and the wax. And here's your finale. We finish this off with four coats of food grade mineral oil and then we put a healthy dose of walrus wax on it to seal all that hydration in the wood. Came out absolutely great, super happy with it. I hope you guys enjoyed this, learned something. If you haven't already, please go ahead and like the video and subscribe to this channel. And I'm going to give you a video on juice grooves and cutting in those handles in the very near future. So stay tuned and thanks again for watching.